Here in this video, we will see how to plot a border plot diagram in MATLAB. This video is going to be really quick, simple and easy. So without wasting time, let's get started. In this video, first step includes defining the transfer function. So in first step, you need to define the transfer function of the system you want to plot a border plot for. Let me tell you in simple words, the transfer function is basically represents the relation between input and the output of the system. And if you want to learn a little bit more about transfer function, that what exactly the transfer function is, then you must refer this video. There I have explained transfer function using practical example, practical use of transfer function in easiest possible way. Okay, so come back to this video again. Let's say here we have this transfer function and we want to implement border plot for this transfer function. So here in line number one, we have defined the numerator of transfer function and now we are going to define the denominator of transfer function. And this is the denominator. Now it's time to create the transfer function in MATLAB and for that you're supposed to write like this. We are assigning this SYS variable to transfer function. So SYS is equal to, the command is TF. TF is for transfer function. First we'll write numerator and then we'll define the denominator. So NUM is our numerator and this DEN is our denominator. And there we go, our transfer function is ready. So first we'll run this much of section and see how the transfer function looks like. Let's run it. So here you can see this is SYS our transfer function and that looks like this, one by S squared plus two S plus one. So we have successfully implemented the transfer function in MATLAB. Now it's time to create border plot using this transfer function. So the second step in this video is to generate border plot. To generate border plot, you can use border functions in MATLAB. So now let's see how to implement that. Border. And now we're supposed to mention our transfer function. So that is SYS. That's it. There we go. Just run this section again. And here we have our body diagram for the transfer function. The first graph represents magnitude versus frequency and the second graph represents phase versus frequency. If you are not clear about this magnitude and phase graph, then I recommend you to watch this video and get basic idea about these two graphs. But this much is not enough. Now we are going to add something to this graph. And the third step represents the customization to this plot. You can customize the body plot to suit your need. For example, you can adjust the frequency range, you can add grids, you can change color, you can change line color, you can add title, label, all those things you can customize in this body diagram. So now let's see how to customize the graph. So this is grid on. Using this command, we will create grids on the graph. The second one is title and using this command will give title to the body plot. So now let's run and check how it appears. So here we have the title, right? So this is how it looks like and these are the grids appears on the graph. And now finally, if you want to see the details of the graph, details like gain margin and phase margin, here you cannot see any details like gain margin and phase margin in this graph. So if you want to observe those details for this graph, then there is a single line command to show all these details. And the command is margin of your SYS function. Let's run it. And there we go. And there we go. Here we have gain margin of infinite dB and here we have phase margin of minus 180 degree. So other than this equation, let's implement another one and see what happens. So in numerator, we'll add. So this will become our new transfer function. And this is the graph. And you can see the change in gain margin and phase margin. And that's how it looks like. Gain margin is still infinite and phase margin is 141 degree. So that's how you can create body plot in MATLAB. If you are interested in plotting multiple graph in one plot, 
plotting bar graph in MATLAB or learning creative ways to represent your data in MATLAB, just refer this playlist. So see you in that video.